after being turned away from an all white school on several occasions. One young black boy and his father crossed the threshold into the Fifth Avenue School here in Huntsville in 1963. This moment would mark a turning point in Alabama's history. We spoke with a person who became one of the faces of integration in Alabama, as well as another advocate leading a charge for inclusivity in schools today. 60 years ago, a young black child walked hand in hand with his father through the front doors of an all white elementary school here in Huntsville. At that moment, Sonny Herford IV became the first student to integrate Alabama public schools. Today, that young boy has grown into a successful black man. Herford still lives in the Huntsville area and he continues to share his story with children all over. You know, even though things certainly aren't perfect now, they're a lot better than they used to be. And I want them to understand that people uh, people had to make sacrifices and take chances uh, in order to uh, make things change or to help to make things change. Herford, like his father, says he believes that teaching kids early on about the dangers of racism and the importance of acceptance makes all the difference. I am of the age that I lived through these things and I'm the stories that I'm telling. A lot of them are my stories, not other people's stories, but my stories. And while Herford's journey represents a pivotal point in black history and Alabama's history, Huntsville schools still struggle to be totally inclusive. At one time, I felt like we were making pretty good progress. I think we backed up a little bit. Since 2015, Huntsville City Schools has been under a consent order from the Department of Justice. However, on the surface, it appears not much has been accomplished. We have seven what we call green factors, which are just areas of focus. Um, we have obtained something called unitary status, which simply means that we're operating as a single school district. So of those seven, we've obtained that unitary status in one of those, which is transportation. Christopher Gregory serves as the chairman of the desegregation advisory committee, and he says these aren't objectives you should rush to check off of a list. This is not something that we want to pencil whip or just try to get done real quick and move on. Uh, it's important that the change that is made is substantive. Even in the midst of continued adversity, Gregory says young black students today should be focused on the days ahead. You can talk about what's not happening in society and what people are doing and those things are happening, but when you take advantage of those opportunities that you actually have, you can maximize your potential and that's what I encourage kids to do. But he says stories like Herford's must be kept at the top of mind. So when I'm talking to students, I'm talking about that importance of heritage, understanding that the fight to allow you to be able to sit in the seat is so important. And don't take advantage of that. Don't neglect that. Thank you for allowing us to share your stories. This may be the end of this special, but the conversation continues. That's right. You can join in by scanning the QR code you see on your screen right now. We want our viewers to tell us what does this month mean to you? We asked members of the Tennessee Valley's black community that very question. Here's what they had to say. I'm all about the big names and, and that's great, but the local heroes and, and unknown heroes digging deep into history. And it is a month that I think we should reflect and reverence and reverence the many sacrifices that so many made. We, we celebrate who we are and we share in that celebration with people from around the world. I love our culture, I love our uh, perseverance, I love our courage, I love our creativity. Young people, just follow your dream and know that it is here in this area, it is black people that are the foundation and just do not give up. Do not let other people tell you what you cannot do.